It's an astonishing case. The guy must be a little bit mixed up mentally, um, a little bit publicity seeking to get himself into this kind of hot water. And he has provided fairly damning evidence against himself. He did seem to think that uh, he was bulletproof uh, because it happened so long ago and because he's getting away with it for so long. But um, in general, for murder, there is no statute of limitations. It can be brought any time. Um, so uh, he has put himself uh, in the soup. It will be played for a jury, I'm fairly confident. The prosecutors will have to establish very clearly that it is his voice. They can show the circumstances, the system, how it worked, and have voice identification. Uh, but it's just the kind of thing that the law wants juries to consider um, and decide for themselves uh, what the ambiguity means. I don't think even as skillful as his lawyer has been for him in the past, I don't think the lawyer is going to be able to keep it out of evidence unless there was uh, some terrible flaw in the system for recording it or something like that. More damning than that, however, I think is the evidence uh, of the handwriting uh, match and the misspelling of Beverly and Beverly Hills in b both the item that is definitely tagged to him and the item that they're trying to pin to him. Well, there is a, a possibility that uh, he will raise a defense of insanity and uh, will get off criminal guilt uh, that way. And I actually think that is a very strong possibility here.